In lesson 10, we're adding user interface sliders. Here you can see that as I move this, we change the number of cells per dimension, which really changes the way the game works. Let me put on, uh, press A for self-drive here. Hold down shift to make it go faster. Um, versus something like this. Why don't we look at how we add these user interface controls by adding another one and making a change to one. The delay is the delay between movements when you're in manual driving mode. So if I push right and up, there is a, it's about a second delay in between. But delay is kind of unnatural um, phrasing. So I want to change this so it's speed, which would be more reasonable for somebody. So it goes slower as you move it to the right. I'd rather have it go faster as you move to the right. So we're going to change this. The thing that this manipulates is a delay variable, but we want to change it so it presents itself here as speed. So why don't we do that first? Let's look first in the index.html file for where these controls are created. And here's this milliseconds per move that we call delay. And it creates a range input element. And um, so how far should we go with this? I guess we need to rename it here. It's really going to be a, a, a manual driving speed. So maybe we'll call it um, manual speed. So what if I try to do a refactor rename? Not sure how much that will modify. Will that modify the JavaScript code too? No. OK. Let's start with this. So now this is called manual speed. And we're going to call this speed. And we're, rather than using milliseconds here for the min and max, we're going to use some arbitrary values. Um, I think, I don't know, 1 to 10, 1 to 20 maybe. Maybe 1 to 100. Let's play with it a little bit. Let's try maybe 1 to 50. All right, that's done. And if we were to reload, we'd see that it's changed here, but of course um, that resulted in breaking something. So let's do the rest of the work. All right, here's the code. Let's find where we connect with the slider. That's here. This p.select is a p5.js method that locates the element matching this selector. And the selector is now called something else. It's called manual speed. And we're going to rename this slider manual speed. And this says to set it initially to the value of milliseconds per move. Why don't we get rid of this for the moment here and then consider what we're going to do when the slider changes. And we have to figure out the relationship between milliseconds per move and the value of the slider. So I think we're going to use the p5's map function to map the slider value, which has, which ranges from 1 to 50, to the milliseconds per move value, which we want to range from, um, so the slowest speed could be, say, 5,000 milliseconds. The fastest speed could be, and this really should be faster than someone could really play it, um, maybe 100 milliseconds. So now we've got an expression that maps the slider setting to the milliseconds per move, and we need to use that initially. So how are we going to do that? What if we were to extract this into a function 
and then call it here. Okay, and we're going to call this set ms per move from slider. All right. So here we connect. We get the DOM element. Here's our function. We say what to do when it's changed. Just going to bring this up onto one line here. A slightly shorter form. And then we just need to call it once, initially at the beginning here. There. That should take care of it. Okay, well, I don't expect things to work the first time, but let's try. Okay, I am going to... Oh, interesting. The speed is not set in the middle. Oh. I said step equals 100 here. I want the step to equal 1 and the initial value to be in the middle. Value equals 25. There we go. Okay, so that's medium speed. Let's see what it looks like when I try to drive. That is not working right. That is really slow. Well, maybe it is. Let's try faster. Yeah, it's going faster now. Let's try the maximum. Yes. Okay, let's try the really slow. Should be five seconds per move. Four, three, two, one. Move, yeah, that works. Maybe I'll make the default speed closer to the 50. Maybe 40. Yeah, that's pretty good, and that's pretty close to the one second that we had before. Okay, good. Now, why don't we set the speed for the self-driving feature? We'll add another slider here. Just duplicate this table row here. And this is going to be called auto speed. And this can... Self-driving should be much faster. We can still use this range of 1 to 50. But what about the initial value? Let's start that in the middle again. That's what it'll look like. Okay, now let's use it. Here's where we're creating these controls. Great controls. Okay, so this is going to be similar. It's going to be very similar. So, as much as I hate to duplicate things, let's duplicate it. Later, if we find we can factor out some common code, why, let's do. All right, slider manual speed. This is going to be slider auto speed okay this is auto speed all right set milliseconds per move from i guess i'll say auto slider here all right okay what are we going to do with these values they go from 1 to 50 uh from slow to fast we want the self-driving to be pretty fast, but maybe somebody would want to slow it down and have a good look at it. Um, so let's say the slowest would be maybe 1,000 milliseconds, and the fastest would be just as fast as it could go. So we'll say zero. And this is not going to be MS per move we're changing. Um, what is this going to be called? MS per move, auto driving. We may not have a variable here for the MS per auto move. So why don't we make one? And I don't know what to set it to initially. So I'll come back to that. All right, so MS per 
auto move gets set to that. All right, now we need to find the code that sets the speed. Okay, so where's that gonna be? Is that in draw? Yes, next move time. Next move time. Oh, I see, we did have auto milliseconds per move, which is gonna be replaced with what we have here. So let me just jump up to that, get rid of that. And that was 100, so that answers my question, sort of, for that. So that goes away. Um, and then this becomes MS for auto move. All right, um, I haven't thought this completely through. It's possible that it's working now, let's see. Okay, so I press A, there it goes. It's going, um, so the speed is halfway between the min and the max. The min is zero, the max is, what do we say, five? No, 1,000. Um, so this should be two moves per second, which is what it looks like. All right, let's speed it up. Let's see how fast it can go. That's faster. And that's as fast as it can go, which is pretty good. Let's see the slowest. Okay, very good. All right, that concludes how to add slider user interface controls in lesson 10.